Joseph Atala Giz's life was very much an island success story. The son of Lebanese immigrants, his parents ran a Charlottetown grocery store where he worked after school. He was smart with an exceptional memory, and academics came easily. He went to Dalhousie Law School and then quickly became a partner with Alan Scales, the most influential lawyer on Prince Edward Island. Together, they formed a formidable law firm. Giz was a brash, fast-talking litigator who specialized in criminal trial cases. Giz had a confident presence, and he walked into a courtroom as if it was his own. Joe Giz took a year off to specialize in constitutional law at Harvard University. Then he got into politics. In 1981, he easily won the leadership of the Liberal Party. In 1986, in a stunning underdog victory, he toppled the Conservative government. Giz was gaining more and more national prominence. First, in 1987, when he fought the Brian Mulroney government over free trade. We say the price is too great. The reward's too small. We say there is no reward too great that gives any government the right to put our country up for sale. In 1989, Giz won his second election, capturing 30 of 32 seats. 60% of the electorate voted liberal, the highest any party received since 1911. How are you doing? Good to see you. Hi, David. But more and more, Giz got tied up with constitutional issues. First, there was Meech Lake, and then the failed Charlottetown Accord. We brought in the top legal advisors to the government of Canada and the government of Ontario and the government of Quebec on more than one occasion into the room to explain to us the different possible interpretations that this wording would have as opposed to that wording. And uh, there was about seven or eight uh, constitutional experts in there, legal textbook writers and so on, and we were getting different opinions and just shades of difference. I mean, just the, like a, the shade of a color different, eh? And, and, uh, and in the end, we had to say to ourselves, do we have the political will to make this happen? Joe Giz may best be remembered for the national prominence that he brought to PEI and for the bridge to New Brunswick. I consider it a mark of the greatness of our country and the greatness of our problems that the son of an immigrant can be elected first minister of a province in this country. Thank you very much. Yeah. Giz became Dean of Law at Dalhousie University in February 1993. He was there for two years, and then in April 1995, Joe Giz was appointed to the Supreme Court of Prince Edward Island, where he served until his death.